Well, that's the uh, zone one done, and we're in zone two. We're straight, on the boat, straight into Philip Ringer. Wrong end. C1. Oh, it's <laughs> disgraceful, this. It really is disgraceful. C2. Oh, it's embarrassing. It's the same people. D10. The only good thing is that, the only good thing is I got all them in my zone. D8. David Bardown. Right, so we're on. Where am I on? Oh, I'm on there. Three. Three. Paul Frost. What am I on? D6. D3, I forgot it already. It's a speed, it's speed. There you go, you know. Oh, I'm turning it off, I'm fed up with that speed. Here we go. The first day. Look at that. I'm in a jungle look. Looks like I'm in a jungle, doesn't it? So you see what I'm on? <coughs> I'm on D3, so that's the start of the section there, D3 there, that's D1, and I'm D3. And stand up, you can see where I am. I'll go through my peg in a minute. But this is where we had the, if you saw the yesterday's, when we went for the paella, well that is there, where, them, where that lamppost is, at the back of there, is a school, so I'm straight in front of the school. So, and I've had to come down them steps there, when I should have come down them there, so they made me walk a bit further than I would normally do. So, so we're on D3, and at least I ain't got MPEG Speedy. I'll repeat that. MPEG Speedy, up there, on C1. Again, MPEG Speedy. On the other MPEG, F10, we've got the one and only Mark Morris. Can you believe that? He fished the peg yesterday, practicing and said, I'm just warming it up for tomorrow. Went in and drew it. Anyone even embarrassed? I can't believe it. And it, like I said to you, here I am stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> There's a song in there, isn't there, somewhere? Uh, man, your young ones will not know it, only old and know that, stuck in the middle with you. But I'm quite happy. I've no impegs in my section and I've got a lovely cutback and along here you don't get many cutbacks where you can get right in there and I mean right in. At the edge of the reeds there, so the trees, it's 14, 15 foot deep. It's a really deep area this. So I've got all my fish will be right tight in and I've got probably six foot. I mean the side of them trees, it's proper deep honestly. I can't, I will gobsmack myself. I thought I'd, when I cast in, it was like my bomb never landed to check it. And even there, there, three metres from the bank, it's 12 foot. And there, at five metres, it's 15 foot. I will, I will actually gobsmack, to be honest with you. So, and I've had a little plum round my tree, but it's, there's weed and everything round there, it's really. So but I don't know whether I'll go there. So I'm just my spots I'm going to fish. I mean, most of my fish are going to come from there. That's where I'm going to be fishing most of the day. And I'll have a resting line somewhere. And I still can't make my mind because there's nowhere to cast where you think, oh, it's right depth. So I'll, I'll probably just go short of them trees and put some bed just so I've got a resting line. And then down here, nobody caught no fishing edge yesterday where we were down there. So I'm not sure they're going to come, but a little bit of flow on it, a little bit of colour from the rain that we had. It's not, it doesn't look too bad. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. So I've got set up, when I come over here, I only fish 12 and 13 foot rods. So I've set two 12 foot all round, two 13 foot all rounds, one with a maggot feeder and one with a method feeder on. Um, just straight four marvellous rod, two ounce tips in. Um, and 6,000, uh, sorry, 5,000 marvellous reels, we owe 28 on. 
straightforward. It's you know it's not rocket science here, but I don't use little rods on here. I just find it easier with 12 and 13 foot rods. Maggots, corn. Look at that lovely yellow from that lovely baked dye there. Look, uh, got my pellets, squeeze ready pellets straight out of the bag. Took me about 10 seconds to do, and uh, and that's my sticky mag already. So basically, I'm. I'm Oh, them's a bit. I'm only going to fish pellets, and we caught better on pellets yesterday. That don't mean not on here. You've got to fish both. You've got to fish both uh, maggots and and pellets. So yeah, straightforward. It's to be honest with you, it's a pretty straightforward match. I've got to catch all my fish from there, or there, or there, or there. And uh, the, I, I, when I drew it, I was like praying because you can see there's not many cutbacks because them they come out four meters them trees there ain't many places you can chuck in close and when i got this one i was really chuffed and so my target is five carp one an hour three carasio and i won't be far off i don't think if i can get five carp and three carasio i'll not be far out one and i'm looking for a carp an hour and uh, so we'll see and i think most of them will come in first half hour and last half hour so we'll see but i'm, I'm not disappointed it's it hopefully it's good start and lads have drawn all right actually well i said speed is on c1 uh wayne's on c2 i think uh mr reeves is up there somewhere philip is there i can see philip in the red and we can see him there look there he is um we've got a lot of problems beating speedy but and then alex has drawn not a good peg He's drawn a good peg, but not in a good section. He's drawn F1, which is the best section. You want to be at 8, 9 and 10. And Mark's down there. So we've told him if he finishes second, it's a miracle. And if he finishes third, he's done his job. So we'll see. So but we'll see. We're not going to grumble. And uh, as you can see, some sort of schools there. So I might even get a drink off him. Oh, I doubt it, but you never know. So we'll see. So, yeah, so we're all ready. I've had to cart all this lot down. Stupid, didn't get rod and reel out and fish. Can't fish without it though, that's trouble. <laughs> so, also on the Iber, and this is what they bring you when you draw. This is a packed lunch, look. I mean, look at that, there's drinks, fruit, sandwich, everything, a piece of cake. They actually bring you the packed lunch to your peg. Without a shadow of a doubt, these, the two Iber masters, the best organised matches you will ever go on. And, uh, and that's why we keep coming back. So I'll let you know how we get on. So it all starts now and I'm quite excited. Well, that didn't go to plan. On the clicker there, you see, one carp, two carasio. First column is carp, second is carasio. Three fish. I lost two and uh, Oh, frustrating, I've lost them two I've lost. Might cost me. Well, it will cost me, I think. So, I fished in that gap there and uh, having a bite for an hour. After an hour and a bit, it's gone round and but one and it's got me snagged with that reed there and bust me. And then I never had another bite. Um, change to maggot feeder, come catch, and we know where to go. And them two have got two, he'd got one, I think, next peg. This lad got one, I'm not sure what happened down there, but and then just gone round at three o'clock, we know where to go, we've got a grass hill. And my tip, I've never, I've never been on here, and there's many indications and as many liners. Honestly, last hour it was stupid. And I've had two crash in a car, and I've lost one with five minutes. It's honestly, I'll swear, it's gone round. I've picked up and it's gone straight. And I reckon it's took five yards, I don't know where it's gone because it went straight and bust me. Because I was trying to pull it, trying to get it out. It all those snags over there it were a big fish as well, though. Whether they got it in or not, before time, I don't know, but we'll never know, will we? <sighs> Disappointed, so I've got like two, four. Might have eight pounds, might have four kilo, but it'd be miles down, that'd be last. Might even be last in section. But I've had two on that's going to cost me. Um, but last off, mid tip were again little plucks, pulls. 
and I couldn't get into people in trouble if you're fishing that heavy. That you've got to fish over to get them out. If you fish light, you probably catch more, but you'd never get the fish out. So that's how it goes. Festival over, but anyway, it's been nice and warm. So anyway, right, finished fifth out of ten. A bit, a bit, I won't say a word. Um, I weighed four four. We're a four nine, a seven and eight, and a seventeen. I couldn't have beat the seventeen, but should have I should have uh, been second and had the eight. Hundred percent. I've lost two. I know other people have lost them as well. Um, but I fished wrong bait. Fish pellets should have fished maggot. It were a maggot day, and I changed. Um, but I fished at the wrong spot to start with, and I'll get a few liners and indications. And then when I've gone where I when I've been fishing my pellets, right tight across. Well, it was stupid having the liners on again, and they were off Carasio. And in the last hour, I've had uh, I've had two, um, and and got a carp and lost one. So I've had my chance. I can't grumble. I'm not. I'm not grumbling really. I'm just disappointed. The trouble was when we practiced yesterday, just right corner, a bit further down here. I fished maggots for two hours and never had a fat, never had a fish. And I caught all my fish on pellet, so that confident with pellet. And last year, along here, we caught all the carassios on pellet. Now these carassios are a kilo each now. Um, so, so yeah, so I've thrown um, three points away today, 100%. It's what it is. And what makes it worse, I've got to listen to Speedy in van. Uh, it was one match with 33 kilos. So and Mark Morris, he'll be chirping away at us. He's one other section we... <laughs> Sorry, I can't, I've got to laugh. <laughs> Fair play to them, they've done brilliant. Mark's uh, won his section, Mark Morris. Uh, we 20 odd kilos, and speed is, I think it's won't match with 33 kilos. I don't know what's been caught up top end above the weir. And two of them weights yet. So, yeah, a bit disappointed, really, to be honest with you. I've thrown away three points today. There's absolutely no doubt. I've had fish on oak, but other people have had fish on oak. But for the fish, Maggie, I'd have caught a couple more Carasios. And it was definitely maggot day. You could tell as soon as I went to the right spot with maggot, everything were different. Liners were different. Bite, you know, fuel bites I've had were different. And I just fished wrong bait in, in, to, in, to, in wrong spot, to be honest with you. So that's how it goes. See what happens tomorrow. We're above um, above the bridge tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. But for winning it, I ain't got a chance now. So daily money. <laughs>